Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Nicole. So in today's video, we're gonna be decorating my coffee bar for the fall time. I'm really excited to show you guys what I've come up with and hopefully give you all some fall decorating inspiration. If you wanna see everything that we get into, go ahead and keep watching. <music> All right, y'all, so first things first, let me give you guys an overview of my coffee bar area. So we have, of course, the coffee bar itself with my two coffee machines. We have an espresso and a Keurig machine. And then we have some hooks to hang some mugs, as well as two shelves. And I'm so excited to decorate these two shelves. I love decorating them throughout the different seasons. And up top, we just have a faux beam with a light hanging off of it and I really love how it illuminates the two shelves. So yeah, this is what we'll be working with today to decorate. All right, y'all, so the first thing I wanna start with is gonna be the bottom shelf at the coffee bar area. So what I'm gonna start with first is gonna be my little cookie jar and my little coffee jar right here. I'm just gonna add them to the end of the shelf. My cookie jar right here actually does hold my coffee pods for my Keurig machine. And as you can tell, I'm running low, so we'll have to add some more coffee pods to this as well. But let's go ahead and add them to the shelves. Also, while we're here, let me share with you all this little light that hubby and I recently made. It's a super cute little primitive light bulb. Let me turn it off so that you guys can see it a little bit better. So there you go. So what it is, is it's just a little night light light bulb that I dunked in silicone that I also added some scent to. So when it warms up, it smells really nice and has a cozy fall scent. And what we did was we just took this, it's just a candle stand that I got at Savers. We drilled a hole through the bottom of it and hubby was able to kind of wire it for me. And we have a little primitive light source right here that I think is so cute and adds a super cozy vibe to the coffee bar. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the other side of the first shelf. And what I'm gonna add there is gonna be this beautiful glass and metal pitcher that I found at Savers a while back. Y'all, this pitcher is absolutely beautiful. I love decorating with it, especially on the coffee bar. I feel like it just goes with the coffee bar vibes. It's super ornate looking and absolutely beautiful. So is the handle right here. And then of course you have the metal around the pitcher itself. And it's just beautiful because it's glass and I love having glass next to some kind of a light. I feel like just the reflective properties are really beautiful and give a really cozy vibe. So yes, this will be on this side of the shelf over here. I also wanna add some bowl filler to that vase. I'm gonna be adding this bowl filler right here. This is how I store my bowl filler every year after the season is over, just in a Ziploc bag. But these actually smell like vanilla smells so, so good and they're super cute. I love the fall colors of them. So we're gonna go ahead and fill that pitcher with some of this. We might add some pine cones as well and then we can add it to the shelf. All 
All right, so up next, I'm gonna be adding these really, really cute textured pumpkins that came from Hobby Lobby. I absolutely love these pumpkins. They are so cute and I love the texture that they add to any display that you put them in. So yes, these will be next to the pitcher and I am gonna also add a candle stand to kind of heighten one of them in the back and then put the two in the front. And this will also be covering the little plug that you can see on the, on the primitive light that Hubby and I recently made. So I also decided that I wanted to add something to the back. So I decided to add this grapevine wreath behind the cookies and coffee jars. And then I decided to add this leaf pick from Hobby Lobby as well. I feel like this gives it a really nice extra cozy vibe. I really, really love this maple leaf pick from Hobby Lobby this year. Then on the other side over here, I just added another pick that came from Hobby Lobby just to give it a little bit of extra texture. Y'all know I like to go a little bit extra when I decorate and I absolutely love how this shelf turned out. So now we can move on to the top shelf at the coffee bar. What I'm gonna start with first is gonna be this very vintage used and abused crock that I recently found. So I'm gonna be using this on this corner up here because I wanna kind of bring the cream that we have in our two little cookie jars over here up diagonal to this side over here on the top shelf. So yes, we'll be adding this and I'm gonna be adding some fall picks that I picked up at Hobby Lobby along with some kind of willow branches into this crock as well. All right, so what we're gonna start with is gonna be these two branches that came from Hobby Lobby. They're in the fall pick section. They did have a little white or cream colored pumpkin that was right here and I just pulled it off because I didn't want any pumpkin in this display. But we're just gonna add two of these to the front. And this is gonna be a really simple display. So the only thing I'm gonna add after that is gonna be these branches right here that are just some kind of dry looking tree branches that came from Amazon. I just folded them in because they were really long and I want them to look really nice and wispy in the back of this display. So I'm gonna kind of push these forward and add these to the back and hopefully everything will hold itself all together. That way we don't have to add anything else to this display. So if y'all have been watching me for any amount of time, y'all probably already know that I always like to add some DIYs into my decorating. I just feel like it adds a personal touch, something a little bit different that maybe not everyone else would have in their decorating. And I don't know, I just really like to do that. I like the uniqueness of it. So I decided when I put this all together the first time around that I needed something in the middle on the top shelf that was different, that was dark, kind of brought in some black because I have black in the dining area and black really throughout my house. So I really needed something black that stood out right in the middle and I really wanted it to be a sign that said something, of course, in the fall theme. So I decided to go out to Hobby Lobby and pick a chalkboard up. This is the chalkboard that I chose from Hobby Lobby. And I went ahead and made myself a little stencil. I will insert a clip right here of how I made this stencil. It was super easy to do, y'all. And I had seen a sign that looked almost exactly like this, if not exactly like this, on Pinterest that said, local farm fresh harvest market. And then it had a cute little pumpkin right there in the middle. So I made my own on my Cricut machine and I went ahead and just printed it on regular printer paper. I traced it with some chalk and then I stuck it on here and it kind of left me a pattern that I could go ahead and trace and this is what I came up with. So I think it came out super, super cute and I'm really excited to put it on that top shelf right next to the crock.
So now on the other side of that sign, I wanna go ahead and add some pumpkins and I want them to kind of be in the same theme as everything else that we've been doing here. So I decided to use this pumpkin right here that came from the Target dollar spot. I believe it was last year. If not, it was the year before. Y'all, this pumpkin was only $3. That was back in the day. I don't know that we'll see $3 pumpkins this size anymore. Hopefully we will, but you never know. So yes, I'm gonna be using this pumpkin on this side over here. And then next to this pumpkin, I'm gonna be adding this pumpkin that also came from the Target dollar spot this year. This one was $3 this year. So this one is really pretty because it has a lot of texture on it, which will match the texture on our bottom shelf. So yes, let's go ahead and add these to the top shelf. All right, and lastly on that top shelf, I do wanna bring in a glass element just to kind of reflect the light. Like I said, on the first shelf, that's why I wanted to add that glass pitcher. I also have this little glass pitcher right here. This one also came from Savers. I really, really love this glass pitcher. I was so excited when I found it. I think it's super cute. So yes, we're just gonna add it just empty to the top shelf next to the crock. Then y'all know me, I had to be a little bit extra, so I decided to add some more of these Hobby Lobby maple leaves to this top shelf. So I just wanted to add them in so that they looked like almost like a garland up here on the top shelf. And I really, really love how this turned out. I feel like that took it over the top and it looks perfect now. Also, if you can see these little wood rounds under the Harvest Market sign, they are just there tacked as risers to hold my decor up because as you could tell, the shelf has kind of a little border around it. If I were to put the decor flat on the shelf, you wouldn't be able to see half of it. So I have these little wood rounds to kind of hold everything up in place. Last thing I decided to add to this top shelf was this little DIY garland that I made. All I did was take some little pumpkins that were in a bag at Michael's and I just tied some twine to their stems. And I think that this totally set the whole thing off. I absolutely love how my shelves at the coffee bar turned out this year. done with the two shelves we can move on to the top of the coffee bar I'm just gonna add some really simple decor to the top of the coffee bar and then we'll add some really festive fall mugs as well so the first thing I'm gonna start with on the top of the coffee bar is gonna be just a vintage book that I'm gonna be using as a riser now to the top of that book I'm gonna be adding Another textured pumpkin. I don't remember where this one came from y'all. I think it came from Hobby Lobby last year. So I'm just gonna add this to the top of the book. And then I am also gonna be adding one of my favorite pieces to decorate with this really cute reading dog. I absolutely love decorating with him. So I'm gonna add him to the top of the book next to the pumpkin. All right, and lastly, on the top of the coffee bar, I'm gonna be adding this really beautiful candle holder right here. Y'all, this is absolutely beautiful. I was so happy I found this at Savers. It is just to hold a little taper candle. It has your little holder for your finger right there and it is in the shape of a leaf. How lucky am I to have found a beautiful brass candle holder like this to put a taper candle in. I'm so excited to decorate with this. So yes, we'll add this to the top of the coffee bar as well. So lastly, we need to hang some festive fall mugs from my little hooks that I have at the coffee bar area. And I found these mugs right here. These are so cute. These came from Target this year. And y'all, they were only $5 a piece. So I grabbed three of them since I have my three little hooks at the coffee bar. So let's go ahead and hang these.
All right, so the last place to decorate at the coffee bar is gonna be the three shelves that I have here on the side of our beverage fridge. So what I'm gonna put here at the top shelf is just gonna be a cloche. So I'm gonna add three little pumpkins to the base and then I'm gonna add the glass top to it. And then on the second shelf, I'm just gonna add some more of those Hobby Lobby maple leaves and then another $3 Target dollar spot pumpkin just on top of those leaves. I like these shelves to be really simple, so this is gonna be it for this shelf. And then lastly is this bottom shelf, and y'all, I like this one to be extremely, extremely simple because I have had difficulties with this shelf in the past. My dog, who has anxiety issues, when we're gone, sometimes she destroys and sometimes she doesn't. It's a hit or miss. And she has destroyed almost everything that I've ever used in this bottom shelf. So this time around, I'm just going to use some books. And these are not vintage books. These are just random books. So it's okay if she destroys them. And then a little basket just to fill the shelf up. y'all so that's gonna be it for today's video I hope that you all enjoyed coming along with me to decorate my coffee bar for the fall time I absolutely love how it turned out it was so much fun to do I really love all the warm and cozy colors and I love that it's kind of over the top you all know that I like to decorate over the top every once in a while and for the cozy seasons of fall and Christmas time it is no different y'all I love to go over the top and extra because I feel like it just brings in an extra warmth and cozy coziness and I feel like that's especially important at the coffee bar because who doesn't love to wake up and see some beautiful decorations while they're drinking their morning cup of coffee I know I do so I hope that you all enjoyed if you did don't forget to leave this video a like let me know in the comments down below what part of your house are you most excited to decorate for the fall time are you done decorating for the fall time are you just starting or have you not started yet let me know in the comments down below and I will see you guys in next week's video bye y'all